Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at a second lot of Papo Mini Tub Wild Animals. I'm going to show you some of their relatives and extended family that you can see here. I'm also going to ask you for some help today with identifying two of the animals. Give a thumbs up if you like wildlife. This is a giraffe. The distinctive patterns on a giraffe's fur helps camouflage it and protect it from predators. The giraffe blends in with the trees and bushes as its fur blends in with the shadows and sunlight. Male giraffes sometimes fight each other over a mate by swinging their necks and heads at each other. This is called necking. They are the world's tallest living land animal. An adult male can grow to around five and a half meters. That's taller than three adult humans. For giraffes, drinking is one of the most dangerous times as it cannot keep an eye out for predators and is vulnerable to attack. Giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam amongst the open plains and woodlands. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away too. Giraffes are herbivores. Their favourite food is the acacia tree and they use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops. They can also use their long tongues to help pull down the branches where they can access leaves way up high in the tree. Giraffes live in groups called towers, led by an adult male. They are able to get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days. Female giraffes give birth standing up. The result is the newborns are welcomed to the world with a one and a half metre drop to the ground. Ouch! But these infants are quick to get on their feet. Within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they're able to run with their mothers. In the wild these beautiful creatures live for around 25 years. In captivity they live longer and have been known to reach 40 years of age. This is the rhinoceros. Rhinoceros use their horns not only in battles for territory or females, but also to defend themselves from lions, tigers and hyenas. The rhinoceros has thick protective skin, but it can be quite sensitive to sunburn and insect bites, which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries, it acts as protection from the sunburn and insects. They can run quite fast, up to 30 or 40 miles per hour. The two African species of rhinos have two horns made from a protein called keratin, the same substance that our fingernails and hair are made of. The black rhino is a herbivore and has a hooked lip which allows it to feed on trees and shrubs. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered, which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger or annoyance to them. The name rhinoceros means nose horn and is often shortened to rhino. This baby is so cute.
This is a tiger. Tigers are the biggest species of the big cat family. Most tigers live in Southeast Asia, China, Korea and Russia. Tigers like to live in swamps, grasslands and rainforests. A tiger's habitat will include trees, bushes and clumps of tall grass. They like to solo hunt at night time. Tigers have been known to run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour. Tigers can easily jump over 15 feet or 5 meters in length. Imagine that pouncing on top of you. Wow. I love that baby in the mother's mouth. That is so beautiful. I think she was looking around for her next meal. And here's Dad. Isn't this magnificent? And the baby. The cake buffalo is the only species of wild cattle found in Africa. It has a large head broad chest and strong legs. Their body is covered with hair that can be brownish to black in colour. It's also known as the African buffalo or sometimes the forest buffalo. African buffaloes live in large herds in the sub-Saharan parts of Africa. They live in herds. Living in a herd means animals know the best feeding areas and where to get water. Besides that, they are protected against predators. When faced with predators, animals in the herd will form a circle around the young, old or weak animals, exposing their large and sharp horns towards the predators. They rely on water so where they live must receive 10 inches of rain per year or more. This is a spotted panther. Papo sells a larger version of this exact model and calls it a spotted panther. I couldn't find much information on this big cat, so I need your help. Please tell me in the comments below if you know about the spotted panther. Panther actually refers to three different types of big cats. Leopards, jaguars and cougars. This jaguar is related to the spotted panther. There are many similarities. This big cat's coat is golden brown on top and greyish white underneath. Panthers in general can swim and climb trees and are able to leap down from a tree to catch prey. They eat small herbivores like deer, wild hog, rabbit, raccoons and also snakes and birds and whatever else they can find. This is a brown bear. I'm not sure if this is really a brown bear or maybe a Pyrenees bear or grizzly. We don't have bears in Australia, so I need your help again. Tell me what you think it is. Bears like to feast on fish. They need to eat a lot of food every day and may weigh twice as much before hibernation as it will in spring. To hibernate, brown bears dig dens in a hillside where the females can give birth to young. 
adult brown bears are powerful predators, but much of their diet consists of nuts, berries, fruits, leaves and roots. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.